Let's learn about saltatory conduction. Saltatory conduction is a process that occurs in neurons with myelinated axons. Myelin is what makes white matter white. Remember the parts of the neuron include the cell body, dendrites, axon, and axon terminal. Myelinated axons have Schwann cells that produce myelin, a lipid substance. They also have gaps in the myelin, called nodes of Ranvier. Let's take a closer look at the myelin sheath. Here is an electron microscope picture of an actual myelinated axon. We can see the nucleus of the Schwann cell, the cell itself, and the axon on the inside. Notice how myelin wraps around the axon. The gaps in the myelin sheath are called nodes of Ranvier. They play an important role in saltatory conduction. Let's take a closer look at a node. The nodes contain a couple of important transport proteins. These are voltage-gated sodium channels and voltage-gated potassium channels. Here's how it works. We will begin with all of the channels closed. Let's zoom in to take a closer look. There is a large sodium gradient with more sodium outside of the cell than in. When an action potential propagates down the axon, it reaches a node. The sodium gates open in response to the action potential. Sodium rushes into the axon by moving down its gradient. This causes the area to depolarize. The sodium gates then close. There is also a potassium gradient with more potassium inside of the cell than out. Once the voltage reaches about positive 30 millivolts, the potassium gates take over and potassium moves out of the axon. This causes the area to repolarize for the next action potential. If you were to observe this mechanism, it would appear that the action potential would jump from node to node. Myelinated axons conduct action potentials much faster than unmyelinated axons. We hope you've learned something about saltatory conduction, and see you next time.